Alright guys, question 16, okay, if you look at the board, Connor, what we're going to get is LN, now we're going to do, as Simon was saying earlier, we can do a bit of work on this, okay, now there's two ways you can do this question, I'm going to show you two ways of doing the same question. Now, I can do it this way here, okay, <coughs> change the square root to the power of a half, and on the other side, I can do it a different way. What I can do is I can use the uh, I can use the rules of in, uh, rules of logs to move the power to the front. And I can do a half ln one plus x squared. Now, either way, let's look at what we have to do. Okay, in this question here, all right, it's going to be a chain rule. So we're going to get do y dx ends up to be one divided by what's in the box. So we're going in this we're going to define the box as this part here. Yes, Simon. How do you know it's a chain rule? Uh, you know it's a chain rule because of the power on the outside. There's a bracket with a power on it. And that means it's automatically a chain rule. Oh, but for the one row, you can do a product rule. Uh, I won't be doing, technically, I'm doing a product rule, but the half just goes straight through anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, guys. Shh. Now, let's look at this, okay? What we can do here is ln, uh, we can do ln, it's going to be 1 divided by the box. And then, so what we get here is one, one divided by one plus x squared to the power of a half, okay? We're going to differentiate what's in the box, so we have to differentiate one plus x squared to the power of a half, okay? So we actually have to differentiate all of this here. And once we've done this, we're going to get one, it's going to be one over one plus x squared to the power of a half. Okay, and then we're going to differentiate this. Now, differentiating this is difficult. The half goes to the front. The what's in the brackets never changes. Take one away from the power. Differentiate what was in the bracket, and when we differentiate that, we get two x. Now, the two x is cancel. I'm oh, sorry, the two cancels with the two, and then we're going to have one over one plus x squared to the power of a half and on top we're going to have x now see the way this is a negative power yeah negative power means it can go on the bottom as a positive power these two numbers are the same aren't they a half and a half so that will just make one of them one plus x squared to the power of one or x over one plus x squared let's look at an alternate way of doing this question the alternate way of doing this question was to use the... Now, while, what some of you guys will often sh hear me say is this, right? When I differentiate y equals 3x, you'll always... I always say that the 3 as a number goes directly down. And the answer would be 3 times 1. 3 times the derivative of what's beside it. Likewise, I'll also say that uh, 3 x to the power of 4, for instance, yeah? The tree goes down right away, and then whatever the derivative of this part is, uh, is then multiplied by it, and you get 12x cubed. Now, some of you might be wondering why would be a good question. Now here, I'm going to tell you why. If I, if I was to, well, the way I do this is, if, the way I know to do it is, I'm going to bring the half straight down, and I'm going to differentiate the second part. But I'm going to show you why that happens now, okay? The reason why it happens is, if I was to divide this into a product rule, where u equals a half, and v equals ln 1 plus x squared. When you differentiate a half, you get zero. So the v du dx part disappears. Do you understand? So it's v du dx plus u the v dx. So the v du dx part disappears because it's always going to be zero because it's a constant and you're just left with the number that comes in front by the derivative of the second one. And that's why I've been doing it that way all this time. Okay? So what we're going to get is the y dx ends up to be a half, one divided by the box, one plus x squared. Differentiate the box, you get two x x cancels with 2 cancels with 2 and you left with x divided by 1 plus x squared. That rule made the full process a lot quicker. So as Simon said, treating the, like rearranging it before you begin saved us a lot of effort.
Yes, Connor. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go on to question uh, 23, I think, because you haven't got that in the solutions. Now, look at this one here. Now, what type of rule is this? Can anybody tell me? What, how do we do this? It's a quotient rule. Now, this question here, okay, is completely different than something that looks like this. This one here is a normal log, but when you differentiate the box, the box is a quotient rule in itself. This one here, however, it's, it's a fraction because the L and X is a separate number, and the X on the bottom is a separate number. It's U over V. So U equals L and X. The U, the X, ends up to 1 over X. V is X, and then the V, the X is going to be 1. So what we're going to get is this, okay? We're going to get a... Uh, yeah, we're going to get V times the U dx, which is 1 over X. And then we're going to get minus U, which is ln X in the bracket, times the V dx, which is 1, all divided by X squared. And we see we're just a moment away from proving this. 1 minus ln X over X squared. That's quite handy. Now, next thing it goes, differentiate a second time. When you differentiate the second time, Replace all x's with e's. Okay? So I'm going to differentiate a second time. This time it's going to be a quotient rule again. d2y dx squared. u is 1 minus ln x. What's the u dx then, guys? 0 minus over x. v is x squared. What's the v dx? 2x. So what we're going to get is uh, v times the u dx, which is x squared times minus 1 over x, minus u times the v dx, 1 minus ln x times the v dx, which is 2x, all divided by x squared. Let's see what happens. Uh, we could rearrange it a little bit. x divides and x squared leaves x, so we're going to get minus x. Now, this is a tricky one. It's the same thing as minus 2x multiplied by 1 minus ln x. And that's going to be minus 2x plus 2x ln x all over x squared. We might as well replace them all with e's now. Minus e minus 2e plus 2e ln e all over e squared. Now, what is ln e? in the calculator 1 because ln stands for log to the base e e to the base e or any number to, to the ba same base is always 1 so we're going to get it's going to the 2 e's will cancel because that turns into 2 e times 1 minus 2 e plus 2 e cancels we're going to get minus e over e squared and that will cancel into minus 1 over e so that was asked to prove uh, I wasn't, I was just asked to evaluate it. Okay. Factorize AX and A to the power 2X. Now, what you need to do here is what is A to the power 2X? What does it mean if I was to separate it out into a real? A to the power of X to the power of 2. You also could have done A2 to the power of. Now, why wouldn't I have chosen option B? because it's not in the same form as the first part okay so we're going to get ax plus ax to the power of 2 now what do they have in common if it says factorize what do they have in common ax bracket what ax bracket what 1 plus ax okay now that that's done that's what it wants us to remember this okay part one is going to set up part two it's the way they work in the book so we're going to keep that in mind that will also work for e to the x won't it and i think that's what they're going to get at so we'll look at this now y equals ln one plus e to the x get the first derivative and get the second derivative to start off the question 1 over what's in the box, 
differentiate what's in the box. And what happens when we differentiate 1 plus e to the x? That turns to 0, and this one turns into e to the x, and differentiate what's in the box. Differentiate what's in the box, you get 1. So it's e to the x. Alright? Now that this is done, what we're next going to get is do y the x, excuse me, equals e to the x, 1 plus e to the x. What type of rule is this now? Patrick, type of rule? U equals e to the x. It's a quotient drill. What's the u to the x then, Simon? Um, okay, so the rule for um, the rule for e to the x is the e to the x part differentiates into itself, and then all you have to do is differentiate the power. When you differentiate x, you get you get one, which is still e to the x. Likewise, shh, v equals one plus e to the x. And what we know already is when you differentiate one, you get Zero. differentiate e to the x, e to the x. Okay. Now we're going to do the quotient drill. Okay. Second derivative equals the quotient drill, which is going to be v times du dx minus uh, u times the v dx. Now. Two ways we can go about doing this, I think. All over. 1 plus e to the x squared. Is this a proof question? Oh, I'll have to show all this. This is going to be fun. Okay. d to y dx squared. What does that equal? e to the x. What's e to the x multiplied by e to the x? e squared. e squared. e to the x. e squared. e to the 2x. Minus e to the 2x. If you don't get that, it's e to the x multiplied by e to the x, and the rule is you add the powers e to the 2x. All divided by 1 plus e to the x squared. They cancel, and that leaves you e to the x all over 1 plus e x squared. So, okay, so here's what we're going to get now. Just got to get rid of all this, okay? And what we need to store is the following information. We need this part here, okay? And we don't need anything else here. So, nope. Okay. So, need to get the original question. That's y. We also need y. So that's our three pieces of information that we need now to uh, do the question. We need second derivative. We need first derivative. That's it. Okay. So let's see what do you want me to do with it. Now, what do you want me to do is the second derivative on its own. Second derivative is e to the x over one plus e to the x squared. Do you want me to square the second one? So what happens when I square e to the x goes? What's e to the x squared? e to the 2x and what's what happens when I square the bottom 1 plus e to the x squared and then the other side is going to be ln 1 plus e to the x now this is interesting okay oh sorry it is the y dx you're right because that won't be compatible so it's going to be e to the x over e to the x over 1 plus e to the x. Now, currently speaking, are all... Yeah, we got it. We're correct. We're going to get this one now. Are all the denominators the same? That one is the same as that one, but this one is lacking a square, isn't it? So let's multiply the bottom by 1 plus e to the x and multiply the top by 1 plus e to the x. If you multiply a fraction by the same number, top and bottom, you do not change the value of that fraction. Now what does that make the bottom then? It makes the bottom 1 plus e to the x squared. They cancel. Now what you're left with is this. 
e to the x plus e to the 2x ends up to be e to the x plus e to the 2x. And you just have to prove them that they're both the same. So that's it. Alright guys, in class.